Hello, welcome to our course on mining engineering. I'm Professor Stephen Fitches from the University of Newcastle, and together with my colleagues, Dr. Anna Giacomini and Associate Professor Olivier Butzi, also from the University of Newcastle, we're going to give you an introduction to the discipline of mining engineering. Mining engineering is a lot about applying a knowledge of applied science and engineering mechanics to the successful extraction of useful geological resources. So in this first module, we will overview the mining process in its entirety and identify those aspects which are the realm of the mining engineer. Then in the next three modules, we will look at the specifics of mining engineering in greater detail. We will devote this first topic to identifying the steps in the mining process and to introducing the terminology that is used in the mining industry and that will be used throughout this course. The mining process begins with finding a new mineral deposit and it ends when the mine is abandoned after it has been rehabilitated. The basic steps in the mining process are mineral exploration to find a new deposit, economic assessment of the deposit to appraise its viability, mine design to achieve a safe, stable and financially viable operation. This is the main job of the mining engineer. Environmental impact assessment and mitigation, beneficiation of the mine product, handling of the mine products and wastes, and mine closure with site remediation. These headings serve as a list of topics that we will cover in this first module. Then, in the three modules that follow, we will see how the mining engineer exploits geological deposits in a safe, efficient, responsible and profitable way. So let's start this first topic with an introduction to the language of the mining engineer. But note that while we have endeavoured to present this course using the terminology of the industry and the profession, the terminology varies widely, locally, globally, and from commodity to commodity. For this reason, we have included a glossary in the additional resources for you to refer to as required. Let's start by defining a mine. A mine is an excavation made in the ground to recover minerals or ores. A quarry is an excavation made in the ground to obtain soils and rock materials for civil construction. A mineral is a naturally occurring inorganic geological substance with a defined chemical composition. Strictly, coal isn't a mineral because it's organic and its composition may vary. However, because it's geologically derived and because it has a value, it is usually considered to be an economic mineral, and in this course we will consider it as such. Now let's go on and define a deposit. In defining a deposit, we need to realise that there are background traces of every element in all geologic materials. So a mineral deposit is a natural geological occurrence of minerals in anomalously high concentrations, either as a body or disseminated. An ore is a mineral that can be mined and from which a commodity of value can be extracted. Gang are minerals of no value that occur mixed with the ore minerals. To illustrate the ideas of ore and gang, let's consider these specimens. In this specimen, we have a gold-coloured ore of copper called chalcopyrite associated with a black gang rock. In the second specimen, we have another ore of copper, a green mineral called malachite, in this case associated with a grey gang mineral. So let's define some terms used to describe different types of deposits. An ore body is a deposit of ore, usually with gang, with well-defined extent. Ore bodies can be of any shape, such as veins, layers, lenses, or pipes. Disseminated ore is a deposit where the ore is spread throughout worthless rock without forming a well-defined body. Overburden is the rock that lies directly above an ore body if the body is not exposed directly at the surface. A flat deposit is a mineral deposit occurring as a horizontal or gently dipping body, usually at an angle of less than about 20 degrees. An inclined deposit is a mineral deposit occurring as a dipping body, separated into inclined, between 20 and 50 degrees, and steeply inclined, above about 50 degrees, up to vertical. A hanging wall is the rock that forms the upper boundary of an inclined ore body, and the foot wall is the rock that forms the lower boundary of an inclined ore body. The two ore bodies shown in the figure could be mined either by surface mining or by underground mining. A surface mine is a mine where the deposit is excavated directly at the ground surface, or else overburden is removed to expose the ore at the surface. An underground mine is a mine where the deposit is worked from excavations beneath the ground surface. Waste is rock material that must be removed with the minerals in order to recover them economically, but which has no economic value. As you can see in the figure, surface mines generally produce more waste than underground mines. Beneficiation is an industrial process carried out on a mined ore to increase its concentration and remove gang. Tailings is a term given to gang and rock of no value 
that are separated from mined ore in a beneficiation process and which usually contain residues of the extracted ore minerals. In the next topics, we will look at the mining process in greater detail. But in the meantime, I encourage you to visit the discussion forum and introduce yourself to the other students taking this course.